Hey Scott, this is Bob. Thanks for the great episodes in your show. Really like the show. How do you handle all of your accounting? How do you tie together the payments from Amazon, if you make any PayPal payments, credit card payments? Um, how do you make that all work? And then mix tax jar in there to keep track of everything. Would you go over kind of how the accounting part works when you really start uh, ramping up? Hey, Bob, thank you so much for the question. I think you got cut off there at the end, but I pretty much got all of uh, what you were asking. And it's, you know, really about accounting, right? I mean, how do we kind of uh, gauge all of the costs and all of the inventory and and all of that stuff? And I got to be honest here, I'm going to be totally transparent with you guys, is I'm not that sophisticated in this department. I mean, literally, uh, when I first started, I was just using a spreadsheet. Okay. Now, since I've really turned this into a real business, I'm doing air quotes, not that you can see me, but I'm doing air quotes. Uh, you know, I wanted to, you know, obviously create the LLC. I wanted to create the own, my own, a checking account. I wanted to tie everything in it. I wanted to have a credit card that was used only for this business. I wanted to have, you know, all of that stuff in order so we can clearly see ins and outs. Uh, now, depending on how many products you have, that's when it w- will really depend as far as when you want to go to a, you know, a more advanced accounting or inventory type system. Um, I was talking to Greg Mercer on our interview uh, recently, which was episode 56, uh, and, you know, he was talking, I mean, he's got a lot of SKUs, but he was saying, like, you know, unless you got 10 SKUs or more, I, he wouldn't worry about it, and I, I agree with that. Uh, I think you can manage it on a simple spreadsheet, you know, products in, how many you have left, and kind of do a projection of how many you're doing. I mean, Amazon kind of gives you that now, like, it will show you, when you log in, it'll show you, like, your inventory, and it'll kind of give you, like, if you're running low, it'll say like, you know, at the rate you've been selling in the last 30 days or however many days, 14 days or whatever, it'll say, if you continue to sell at that rate, you'll run out of stock by this date or this time. So it kind of gives you that, but there's nothing built into, you know, a software, um, a basic software that is. So I don't really look at that stuff. I kind of just do the numbers myself, usually like once a week and I'll kind of see where I'm at, but I'm always kind of buying 30 days in advance anyway. So that really, really doesn't pertain to me. Um, but as far as keeping track of the numbers, uh, there's a bunch of different options. I mean, you can use fresh books, you can use, and that's an online accounting system system. Uh, You can use QuickBooks. I've used that in the past for other businesses, Uh, but I've just recently, um, I say recently, probably around three, four months ago, I've been using uh, Wave Apps, it's called. It's basically Wave, W-A-V-E, but if you go to Wave Apps, W-A-V-E-A-P-P-S.com, I'll leave links in the show notes, of course, but you know, basically what this is, it's really similar to like a FreshBooks where you can create your own uh, business um, accounting system inside of here. And it does all the profits and loss and the reports and all of that stuff. And it's online, it's hosted online. So you don't download anything. And it also allows you to, uh, you know, see exactly where you are as far as, you know, financially, like how much money are you in the positive, uh, how much, you know, you can create invoices, you can create receipts, you can do, uh, you know, payroll if it, even if you had that. And there is some pro services, but it's free unless you, you take advantage of some of those pro services, which I don't need any of those right now. Um, it, they also have ads that run on the side, but they're, they're not that obnoxious. Um, so it really, to me, that's been working really, really good for me. And I was looking at fresh books. I was looking at QuickBooks, and I said, you know what, for all I need right now, this is going to work just fine. So that's what I've been using. And I'm probably not even using it to its fullest, but I'm just using it to take all of the inventory uh, you know, and basically import how much I've spent on it, then how much money has come in from Amazon, uh, you know, all of the other expenses, what I've paid for t- for all of my, uh, you know, subscriptions like tax jar and lead pages and uh, AWeber and all of those things and kind of put all those in there. And then, you know, every single month I can see where I am or even every single week, depending on how you want to update it. I usually update my numbers uh, every month. So then I kind of know like, taxes wise, right? And that's something that we really haven't talked about, but you really need to talk to an accountant about that. But depending on the tax bracket that you're in, you may be in 28 or a 30% tax bracket, or maybe even higher, depending on how much money you're currently making. But when you make that money from Amazon, you also need to figure in that. So I, what I, what I'll do is every month I'll figure out what my profit was. And then from there, 
I'll go ahead and I will take a little bit of that money and I'll stick it you know, to the side to where now I'm kind of like banking that money. So when I do have to pay my federal tax quarterly, I'll have it there. And then my accountant can do the final numbers and then he'll say, hey, Scott, send in X amount of dollars. And then I just cut a check out of the business account. So I have a business checking account that is tied to this Wave apps, uh, you know, software. And then from there, I just, you know, again, it's reporting in and out. And then the credit card, I use a credit card that is that is used just for this business. So this way here, it's very easy to see exactly every month what I've spent. And then I can just go ahead and import that into this software. So that's the really easy, simple method that I use. I know some people want it more, you know, I guess more uh, you know, details and, and just finer details. Um, I'm good with that. My accountant seems to like it like that. So that's what I'm doing. So I think that's pretty much answered the question. So I wouldn't overcomplicate it. That's the one thing I would say. You just want to know what the money in is and the money out. All right. So I hope that's answered your question, Bob. If you guys want to submit a question, head over to theamazingseller.com forward slash ask and you can do that. I want to also, again, remind you guys, if you're brand new and this is your first time to the show, I want to welcome you. I love hanging out with you guys. This is just awesome to be able to virtually connect like this, and that's why I love the Ask Scott sessions, but if you are brand new and you're just getting your feet wet and you don't understand the entire process, the entire business model, I would recommend attending one of my live free workshops. This is where I break it down for you in five phases. How to pick a market and a product, how to source it, how to do a pre-launch, how to do a launch, how to promote the product, and everything in between. We go over that on a workshop and uh, we, we go through every single thing. We also do live Q&A. So if you want to attend one of them, I would love to invite you to the next one and you can register for the next one by heading over to theamazingseller.com forward slash workshop and you can register there for an upcoming workshop. Well, hey there. Thank you so much for listening to that episode of Ask Scott. Now, that was just a highlight from one of our full episodes where I generally answer three to four questions on a podcast. If you want to go back and listen to all of the past archives of not just the Ask Scott session, but all of the full episodes where I do interviews with top Amazon sellers, people starting from scratch and building a business, if you want to listen to any of those episodes, head over to theamazingseller.com and you can find all of that over there. You can also find details there on how you can ask your own question and get it aired on an upcoming Ask Scott session and possibly see it here on YouTube or just on the podcast. All right, so definitely head over to theamazingseller.com. There's tons of resources over there for you to be able to build your e-commerce and Amazon business. So definitely go check that out. Now, I just want to remind you one thing before I let you go. There's a lot of information out there and some of it is really, really good. What I want you to remember is you have to not just consume the information, you have to actually apply that information. So take this information that you learned here today and apply it to your business. And this way here, you can get results. As my shirt says, I wear it almost daily. Take action. We'll see you guys.